Hello and welcome to the prediction show for the Premier League this weekend. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel or if you're new, thank you so much for watching. Uh, the first game is Everton versus Liverpool, 12.30 kickoff on Saturday. Uh, Everton have won two of their last five games, while Liverpool have won th their last three games, including the great win against Manchester City in the Champions League as well as a 5-0 victory over Watford and also a comeback win against Crystal Palace. I think Liverpool will win this. I think it'll be tight, maybe uh, 1 or 2-0. I'll go with 2-0 to Liverpool. First 3 o'clock game is Bournemouth versus Huddersfield. Uh, Bournemouth have the 7th best current home form in the league uh, with 4 wins, 1 draw and a loss. Uh, Palace have won just one of their last six games with a loss against um, Liverpool in their last game, 2-1, as well as a late defeat to Manchester United as well in their last six. Uh, I think I think this one will be quite tight, but I can see Bournemouth getting uh, the victory. I can also see Palace getting the victory. That's why I'm going to go for a one-all draw. Bournemouth have been in fair form, but Roy seems to know how to get sides out of trouble. Next it's Brighton versus Huddersfield, another three o'clock kickoff. Uh, Brighton have the seventh best form in the league with three wins, one draw and two defeats and Huddersfield have won just one of their last six away games losing their last five. I can't see past the Brighton win. Um, David Wagner's side are awful away from home they've really struggled to pick up points uh, I think Brighton have really good home form and I think they'll be able to get a good win um, on Saturday tomorrow uh, I'll go 2-1 to Brighton 3 o'clock game is Leicester versus Newcastle United um, in their last 6 games Leicester have won 2 drawn 3 and lost just 1 the same as Newcastle which points to a draw and I think it probably um, will be a Leicester win. Um, they're pretty good at home and I think they will just about get it done 1-0. A bit of a mismatch in, on the form book. It's Stoke City versus Tottenham Hotspur. Stoke have lost their last three games. Spurs have won their last five games uh, in the league. I think Spurs will probably get the victory again. I think they've won the last four by a four goal margin. I don't think it will be that clear cut again. I think it'll be about 3-0, 3-1 to, to Spurs. Watford face Burnley. Uh, both of these sides were really high up in the beginning, but Watford have slipped away um, at the end of Marco Silva's reign. Good home form for Watford. Three wins and two draws and a defeat. Uh, Burnley have won their last three league games. Uh, so I think it'll be another draw, 2-2. Uh, um, I can't see Burnley losing and. Watford are in good form at home. 2-2 uh, was the last result um, when Burnley, uh, Watford sorry, paced um, Bournemouth. And I think it will be 2-2 again. And the final 3 o'clock kickoff is West Brom against Swansea. It's a massive game for Swansea. A win and they could go, go clear of Southampton uh, who play on Sunday. West Brom have lost 8 games in a row. Um, and that's led to Pardew leaving his job as manager. Uh, Darren Moore is in charge uh, for that game. Swansea have won one game, three draws and two defeats. Um, their last game was obviously against Manchester United where they lost 2-0 at Old Trafford. I can't see past the Swansea win. Uh, maybe 2-1. Uh, it might be tight, but they should get the victory. They need to get the victory. If they don't, then maybe, maybe they... The, it will it will hurt their form if they lose against West Brom, who haven't won for so long. Just one victory under Alan Pardew in their four months. It's a must win for Swansea, and I do think they'll get the victory. 2-1 Swansea. In the biggest uh, game of the weekend, Manchester City are facing Manchester United uh, in the half-past five kickoff. Manchester City have won their last five league games, but did lose 3-0 to Liverpool on Wednesday. Uh, Manchester United have won their last four league games, uh, so it does point to a draw. However, I do think City will get the win. 
I think it might be by a one goal margin, maybe 1-0 or 2-1. Um, it will be tight, but I hope City can get the win and win a title the earliest it's ever been won. See, Mourinho would love nothing more than to uh, put the brakes on their champ on their Premier League win and um, really, really stick it to them a little bit. Um, but I can't see that happening. I do think City will win. And I think because they have lost 3-0 to Liverpool, they do need to get their confidence back. And um, I think he'll feel a fairly strong side. On to Sunday. And the first game kicks off at quarter past two. It's Arsenal at home to Southampton. Arsenal have won four of their last five league games at home. Uh, the only defeat came in against Manchester City. And Southampton haven't won any of their last five league games. They've been... Uh, pretty awful. Uh, I think they've lost the last three, the last two league games, three nil, um, both away. That was Newcastle and then um, Newcastle and then uh, West Ham. Uh, in between that, they did have Wigan at, uh, away when they won two nil in the FA Cup. Um, but I can't see past the uh, Arsenal win. It could be two or three nil again. They did draw on their first um, their first game. And um, I think Arsenal will definitely get the win. Aubameyang will be back for that. And the Arsenal had a great win last night against CSK in Moscow, winning 4-1 with Ramsey getting two and Lacazette getting a brace as well. So I'm going to go 3-0 Arsenal. Another derby is Chelsea versus West Ham. Chelsea are in awful form, losing their last four of their last six games. And West Ham have won just two of their last six league games. Beat um, Southampton. Uh, last weekend, 3-0 convincingly. And they did beat Chelsea in the reverse game, 1-0 uh, at the London Stadium with Arnautovic getting the goal. It was one of uh, David Moyes' first games. Uh, I think Chelsea will probably get the win, maybe maybe 2-1, but I think it'll be tight. Uh, Chelsea need to get a victory. They've been really struggling for form and the pressure is heaping onto Antonio Conte, but I think they will get the win 2-1. Let me know what your thoughts down below are for Derby Day and Super Sunday as well as the 3 o'clock games. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you're new. I am Mike and I will see you soon.